between the dancers that you knew in the Palladium in those days <coughs> and what's different about them today? I don't know. That's difficult. Uh, it's different music. Well, it's not, I can tell you. I it's can not, tell you, I can it's tell not you the same music. The old people that grew up and had been part of that scene. Yeah. A lot of them have retired. Some of them still come out to hear the music. Yeah. They still, they still um, um, support. And it was different music, actually. They still support. The mambo. The, yeah. They, now they call it salsa, but at that time it was yeah. mambo. But they have raised families, taught all their kids how to dance. Then those kids have raised families and taught their kids how to dance. So there's, tr there's generations of, me of people that have been in this world of mambo dancing and whatnot. And they've passed it on to the to the younger generation, mm -hmm. so that's what we play for now. We play for the grandchildren, uh, 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 or or the the parent, or, or the or the the, um, the first generation of of the original dancers. That's I those, are, those are our audiences now. But how have they changed? Describe the the changes. Well, the changes is, is the just like I mean, look look today. There's there's uh, reggaeton, there's hip hop. There's new things that are that are that are taking the audiences to different places, you know. Uh, I, the, the the latest generation of kids, some of them are still dancing, but the majority of them are into a whole new thing on their own, which is. I remember Ernie. Yeah, Ernie. Ernie, was Ernie. one of the original dancers, professional dancers, and like I know. mambo dancers that did it for. They did it. They used to put on professional. Oh yeah, mambo. Mambo shows, you know. Those two, the teams, dance teams. And yeah. there was a special night at the Palladium where they were featured. They all started at the Palladium because on Wednesdays they used to have a contest and they would give them some kind of money. Uh, Joe, Killer Joe was like the MC, and they would have different partners come out and dance. Yeah. Uh, Mambo at that time. And they, uh, they would go for, you know, they'd compete for a prize to see which was the greatest Mambo dancing team. Yeah. Know? Yeah. But it was different music. That was a good question you just asked. But uh, they call it now salsa, but it's actually different than than mambo. Yeah. Well, was, and I, there, you know, there was nothing. I mean, most bands would play not just mambo rhythms, other rhythms too, cha cha cha, and uh, you know, fast, slow rhythms, medium tempo rhythms. You know, and it was all under the umbrella term. You know. But now the salsa is like an umbrella term to, to fit them all in. But uh, they was they were, they had more distinction about, and, and then they had dance crazes like the cha 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 became a big craze uh, coming out of Cuba in the early fifties, and everybody jumped on it. You know, everybody started recording cha cha chas. And then mambo, same thing. Mambo, but New York mambo is kind of different than Cuban mambo. Cuban mambo was a lot more relaxed. You know. You were gonna ask me a question. Yeah, uh, the New York mambo was a lot more frenetic, more up. Oh yeah, a, a more aggressive. More, more aggressive because it fit the tempo of the way the city ran. You know, New York City was, you know, yeah, get up and go kind of place. You know, Havana was a lot more laid back. You know. Yeah. It's not, that's why I said it, now it's like different music, you know, from, from before.